Did Dr. Michael Masters just debunk the Nazca mummies on that UFO podcast? No. No, of course you didn't. <laughs> but let's talk about it. Get in here. This is Jack with Cosmic Road. I talk about UFOs and the paranormal. Please hit like and subscribe and let me know what you think in the comments below. Okay, first let's get into what he has to say. And there are animal bones in there. Absolutely. And there's also thousand year old human bones. So yeah, the date is going to be a thousand years. These are pre-Hispanic, Peruvian, oftentimes children, sometimes baby bones that are stuck in with animal bones. It's this mishmash of the two. The, the skull of these is almost definitely a, a llama skull, reverse llama skull. Um, and you can see, you can identify a lot of human bones. Those are very easily identifiable. So then you have to ask, well, is this human? Is it not human? Is it alien? Would you get the same evolutionary characteristics in the osteology of an extraterrestrial? Maybe. But what's interesting is you can see the manipulation. You can see the intentional manipulation of these, the way they take them and move them around to different parts of the body. They might. Okay, so everything he said is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I hate The Last Jedi, but that was a good line from it. Uh, so, yeah, everything he said is wrong. Uh, this, the, the llama skull uh, hypothesis has been roundly debunked. There's no manipulation of the skull. There's no manipulation of the body. The, the bones haven't been cobbled together. Uh, the... the, the like I have said many times before, there have been CAT scans and other scans uh, showing that these bodies are completely intact. The skeletal structure is completely intact. They were not cobbled together. They are entire intact specimens of some type of being. And now we have new research by American scientists saying the same thing. Uh, the award-winning and renowned North American forensic uh, Dr. John McDowell came to Ike University, analyzed the mummy Mary, I think that means Maria, and under the fluoroscope images, no mutilation or alteration was found in the feet of this being. And of course, that's very important because uh, the feet are tridactyl. So if there's no alteration or manipulation of the feet, that means this was a tridactyl being. Uh, Dr. McDowell just received a prize similar to a Nobel in Forensic Sciences, uh, the 2024 RBH uh, Gradwall Prize. Along with him were forensic pathologist Jim Caruso and forensic archaeologist William Rodriguez. In front of them, the public ministry, the municipality of Lima, Agents of the National Police of Peru in the Ministry of Culture made their paper. Scientists from the Peruvian and other nations who wish to join the research are welcome. Meanwhile, more and more depictions of the beings uh, are being found in Nazca and beyond Nazca. Uh, yeah, this is from Jaime Masson. Um, the Nazca tridactyl beings, also known as finger triangles, yeah, the, the translations on some of these are a little wonky, are a type of geoglyph found in the Nazca Desert in Peru. They are characterized by triangular geometric figures with three fingers or appendages extending from the base. And there you go, a triangle, uh, <laughs> a tridactyl uh, being uh, with a head shape very much like the Nazca mummies. We also have artwork from the peoples of the time. Um, lots of it, lots of it. I've shown a, a lot of it uh, here on the channel. And, uh, you know, some of these textiles are really interesting. Uh, you know, three fingered being, uh, looks like a, looks like a tridactyl. I'm not, I'm not sure about that guy. That one has four fingers and looks, it looks more abstract to me. Uh, you know, the same with that one. I think that could be representing a human, even though he's got three fingers. Maybe, maybe they just didn't want to take the time to, to draw more fingers. Uh, but either way, they are finding, uh, examples of the art, uh, human art depicting these beings uh, from the cultures of the time, not just in Nazca, but globally. From this post by Gonzalo Chavez, uh, for people wanting to use common sense why the Nazca mummies are real. Just remember, everyone who says they are fake are implying Leandro Benedicto Rivera, aka Mario, is able to create organs and skin, <laughs> uh, three, three fingers and toes since birth, 
uh, create a fetus of different species, insert the fetus inside a pregnant humanoid. Uh, yeah, and it, yeah, and nestle it in a complex capillary structure in the womb. Uh, create bones and ligaments, create bio-integrated osmium implants, go back in time to age them 1,800 years. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, um, yeah, the, the, the debunkings on this just drive me crazy. You know, people like Dr. Michael Masters should know better than to comment on something that he hasn't studied himself. Uh, all the scientists and doctors that have studied these specimens in person uh, verify their authenticity. So I would encourage Dr. Michael Masters, instead of doing some armchair debunking, uh, to actually go and study these specimens in person before spreading what appears very much like disinformation, whether knowingly or unknowingly. Uh, it's so frustrating uh, getting these people uh, spreading uh, uh, what is uh, t tantamount to uh, uh, deliberate disinformation uh, to, to the public and, and uh, col coloring the public's perception of these specimens because this is UFO disclosure, guys. This is UFO disclosure. Now, I don't know if these people are spreading this uh, stuff intentionally or just through ignorance, but it is very frustrating. So, uh, yeah, but you know, go, go review my videos on the Nazca mummies and all the research that has been done on these amazing specimens because UFO disclosure has happened. And once we finally get around to embracing the reality of these specimens, we can then get to understanding them because that is the critical thing, right? Okay, let's acknowledge they're real. What are they? How do they get there? How do they interact with the, the peoples of the time? Were they really global? What's the deal? What's their story? Are they still around? Uh, and okay, so here we get uh, this interview and we discover that Maria had grapes in her belly. Uh, well, okay, I don't want to spoil it. Okay, here goes. It's subtitled, so I'll read it. These bodies are so well preserved, Thomas, that they have an advanced uh, technique that has been seen anywhere in the world. How is it not going to catch? The attention of an archaeologist, a scientist, they have been preserved with a chemical substance not found in nature. We, you have to manufacture it with temperatures uh, close to 100 degrees. Uh, it's lethal, carcinogenic. Uh, it is the most dangerous thing there is. It is cadmium chloride. Cadmium chloride is not found in nature in 1800 years ago. It was used to preserve bodies such as the mummy Maria. To your review, seems that he, he had died the day before yesterday. I just saw them and they have bone density. They still have the, uh, whatever that is, the feces in their intestines. There you can see that she ate. She fed herself. A preliminary analysis found some grape seeds. Imagine the grape is supposed to have arrived from Europe around 1800. It would also be culturally interesting evidence to know, wouldn't it? I mean, we still have a lot of science to do with these bodies, but if you would... Okay, so that was really fast. I hope you were amused by me uh, reading that really fast. But yeah, grape seeds found in Maria's intestine. Grapes that weren't available in that part of the world uh, until just a few hundred years ago. Uh, fascinating, fascinating stuff. You know, it reminds me of the Egyptian mummies that had like nicotine uh, in their, their blood. Uh, and, uh, you know, nicotine wasn't available uh, in that part of the world. It was, it was uh, coming from the Americas. So, uh, yeah, how did that happen? Uh, you know, is, was there a, a, a cross-sea traffic uh, between the peoples of the Americas and the peoples of the Old World? Could, theoretically, uh, the Nazca beings and people like them uh, have traded with the Egyptian pharaohs? I mean, just having some fun here. Uh, but the Nazca beings go back uh, to, you know, 1,000 to 7,000 years ago. 
there were some pharaohs during that time, and uh, there is tobacco in South America. So very interesting, very interesting uh, to, to, to imagine this uh, global interaction between cultures uh, and, and exotic beings. So that's what I want. I want to understand these guys. I want to understand the cultures they are from, what they were doing, where they are now. Uh, you know, what is the significance of all this? This is so exciting to, to think about and to try to piece together. Uh, and then we have people like Dr. Michael Masters coming and saying the same tired old uh, disinformation that it's cobbled together animal and human bones. So it's just, you know, it's, it's exciting, it's frustrating. Either way, I think we're on the cusp of really uh, getting the public engaged in this. And, you know, I don't want it colored by that sort of BS that is out there. But we have more and more scientists from the Western world that are looking seriously at these beings. And I can't wait for more results uh, from that quarter. Uh, we've already had, you know, the one guy uh, looking at the, the feet of Maria and saying they are unaltered. This is a genuine trigactyl being. And this is somebody whose opinion might carry a lot of weight in the Western world. So that is very exciting. Uh, yeah, UFO disclosure has already happened, but only if people acknowledge it. <laughs> so we need people like that uh, to acknowledge it and to spread the good word. All right, let me know what you think about all this in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. I sure would appreciate it. Smash the subscribe button and the bell to be notified of future videos. You don't want to miss a thing. Join me on social media, Facebook and Twitter links below. Love to see you guys there. If you wanted to support Cosmic Road in an even bigger way, consider grabbing a coffee mug or a t-shirt in the merch store below, or by becoming a channel member. Channel members are rock stars, and I really appreciate you guys' support. Thank you. Meanwhile, there are plenty of other videos on the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. This is Jack with Cosmic Road, signing out.